What's up, everybody? You know what day it is. It's time for your next dose of Freedom Friday with your host, that Wounded Warrior guy. That's me. And today I am joined by my beautiful wife and partner in life, Abby. And yeah, so today, like every other Freedom Friday, we get together. We go through these questions that we've gotten. We randomly select one. Um, we go through three different questions. And we give our answers to these random questions, and we hope that that's something that y'all get to enjoy, uh, especially since it's Friday. We like to take a little bit of time. We like to pour ourselves a beverage, sit back, relax, and enjoy having completed another successful week of tackling those goals on our individual, um, you know, progressing ourselves as individuals. But before we get into this video, just want to remind you guys, if you wouldn't mind doing so, throwing us a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, sharing this video, do one of those things for us, and we'd really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, we'll get right into this video, and before we do, I just want to remind you guys that if y'all have any questions um, or any concerns, or if you happen to know soldiers who are going through the medical evaluation board or getting ready to transition back into the civilian sector, I did just do a video on Warrior Wednesday. You can find it um, on my YouTube channel. It's the previous video that I just did. Go check out that video. If you know anybody that might benefit from tips and strategies that can help guide them through that process, I do believe that those things I included in the video will be very beneficial for those individuals. But without further ado, we're going to hop into these questions and I'm going to let my wife get it going. All right, let me see what I can get here. Oh, also, Abby is not drinking tonight because... I am working on a new tattoo mm -hmm. and my second appointment is tomorrow. So no drinking tonight. Yep. No alcohol at all, just to make sure that I don't end up... I mean, I'm a bleeder as it is, so, you know. Yeah, we just want to make sure that whenever she sits down, she's good to go, and that, you know, there's no no added um, negative factors going on that we need to worry about. And once the tattoo goes a little bit further, I will be happy to show off my ink. And you guys are going to get to see something extremely extraordinary, very professionally done. Um, I can't wait Fantastic for her. Fantastic artist. I cannot wait for her to show this thing off. So, um, stuff to come just to, to, to keep you guys looking forward. What is your most unrealistic fear and why? Mm, I am terrified of being eaten by a sea monster at the bottom of the ocean. Like, I have, like, these nightmares or bad dreams where, like, I sink to the bottom of the ocean, but for some reason I'm not dead yet. And then I just like see something open its eyes and swallow me. And so I'm always terrified of like deep, dark water and especially being like suspended above it. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of swimming in deep water, not a big fan of swimming in creeks, not a big fan of swimming in, not a big fan. Like I can swim in some ponds and some lakes, uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I just get creeped out. I, I don't know. And yet you watch movies with under the sea themes and monsters and sharks and yeah. all the time. Could be a, however, you do not watch those movies. I and do not. and do you feel any more safe about swimming out in open water? I, I'm an earth sign. I don't like water. There you go. Now I'm unless not saying it's a swimming pool. I can handle swimming pools unless it's got too much chlorine in it because then my hair turns weird. Clothes. Yeah, I do good in swimming pools. I'm not saying that there's not a connection between those two things because I'm sure that there is. I'm just saying that the fear is already there, so I might as well continue to watch those movies. Because not watching those movies is not going to die down that fear. Do you know what I mean? Like, so. Let's see. Probably the most unrealistic fear that I have is dying in a fiery plane crash. Mm. I have that fear too, though. Yeah, but you can <sighs> do things on planes. I sit and chant a prayer. Yeah. Could probably creep a lot of people out. Anyway. I don't think that... 
don't know. I think it's a natural fear to have. Unrealistic, Probably. sure. Natural. I mean, unrealistic I only because it is more rare. <laughs> Would you rather be a reverse centaur or be a reverse mer person? So would you rather be a horse, horse head with a male bottom human body or would you rather be a fish head with a human, human bottom head. I'm going to say reverse mer person because I do feel like it would be easier to breathe underwater with underdeveloped legs than it would be to walk the planet with an extremely heavy offset head. I have strong legs. I would rather have a horse head because if I was a fish, then I would have to live in water. And if you were a reverse mer person, you would get eaten by a creature at the bottom of the sea. Well, what kind of reverse mer person are we talking about? Are we talking about like scary mer person? Like, you know, like dangerous magical mer person or are we just talking about like am i gonna have like a a regular carp face eat regular stuff just chilling out like a regular fish or am i like hardcore mer person those are two different kinds of fish going on okay just saying <laughs> if you could wake up tomorrow with any ability what would it be To to be able to duplicate things at will as many times as I want. What would you duplicate? What would be the first thing you would duplicate? Money. Yeah, I saw that coming. And then I don't know. You could. I mean, what what is the what is the the limit to that like you could for example like if we're talking about duplicating anything you could technically duplicate an action or you could duplicate an event you know what i mean like if you did something really well like let's say that you went out and you won um, your very first like professional event you could duplicate that I don't know. But then I, it wouldn't be your first event. Yeah, but you could, I don't know. So maybe not like, but you know what I mean? Like if you, if you could like duplicate an action, I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think so. So yeah, that would be my ability to be able to like duplicate things or actions at will. Be pretty crazy. Mine, not to get too Big Bang Theory, Sheldon Coopery, it would not be teleportation because teleportation would require breaking down the person that I am and then transporting it and then rebuilding it, and that's just kind of creepy. But if I had any ability, it would be to snap my fingers and appear in another place so that it would be easier to go see my parents, easier to go see my sisters and my nieces and nephews, my brothers-in-law. Um, easier to go visit your family, easier to go visit places that I've lived before, so the people that I have seen there. I would want to be able to travel more quickly than we already can. And if I could just snap my fingers and do it, it wouldn't cost anything. Yeah, what I would do is I would just duplicate myself like three different times and then just send them out to do those things for me. But would you remember it if it was... A, duplicated brain. Or would I be the duplicate or the duplicate Duplicator. Which one would be with me? I don't know. Hopefully the original. <sighs> but if I don't know which one I'm going to be, I can't tell you which one's going to be with you. It could be the one behind the, the whole thing. And who knows which one it'll be. Well, it's a good thing that tomorrow morning you're going to wake up and not have any special abilities. It probably is a good thing. But that also means that tomorrow morning we're still going to have to brave Florida traffic to get to my tattoo appointment. Yeah. 
But it shouldn't be too bad, because we're going to leave, like, yeah. in between the, whatever rushes there would be, and we might catch it on the way back, but that's not that big of a deal. Yeah, yeah. So. Anyway. Yeah. It's still exciting. We're still looking forward to it. I got to make sure I get up so I can get some stuff ready to keep the both of us preoccupied while we're there. But it's exciting. So our questions today, what is your most unrealistic fear and why? Would you rather be a reverse centaur or a reverse mer person? And if you could wake up tomorrow with any ability, what would it be? All right, guys. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed this Freedom Friday. I hope it gave you an option to kind of sit down, relax, watch us with our goofiness and our, you know, ability to turn anything into just a crazy night. Yeah. yeah. We have fun. We have fun. We get weird, but we have fun. Never mind. Never mind. But yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys Monday for our goal setting that we do every Monday. So looking forward to that. I hope that y'all enjoy your weekend. I hope that y'all got to enjoy the new holiday that today brought you guys. Tomorrow's the holiday today tomorrow. For, the, for the government folks. Yep. Right. So I hope that you get to enjoy the holiday tomorrow and celebrate it. Um, Happy Juneteenth. Yep. Yay, freedom. Yay, freedom. It's about damn time. But we're going to leave you guys to tackle the rest of your weekend. Make sure that y'all take the time to reset so that we can get ready to hit it again hard next week. Take it easy. Take care. Have a good weekend. Like always, before we get off of here, even if you don't realize it, even if you don't believe it, there is a warrior in each and every one of you. And we see it. Take care.